Welcome to Buona Papa again! I thought that we could do something special together, like a spinach pasta roll. The special thing is that we're going to do a homemade pasta, so we will have fresh pasta. The beauty of this recipe is that we not only cook the spinach roll pasta for the whole family, but we will prepare, meanwhile, a nice baby spinach puree for our little ones. So, in the, at the same time, we'll have a baby food and a family food. This is what I like to do. <laughs> so let's start together with the ingredients. We need two cups of old purpose flour, two eggs, two and a half pounds of spinach, baby spinach, fresh ones, nine ounces of ricotta cheese, three and a half ounces of good Parmesan cheese. It's more or less eight, nine tablespoons some good extra virgin olive oil, some fresh sage, just a pinch of salt for mommy and daddy, and uh, same thing, just a pinch of nutmeg for mommy and daddy. Let's start together and let's make together our fresh pasta. What we need? Our all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, and two eggs. Let's start mixing our pasta mix <laughs> with a fork and then very soon we will need to use our hands to keep going of course I wash my hands <laughs> you have to keep working your pasta for let's say five minutes up until a nice soft but firm dough will be formed Five minutes later, and after some exercise, our pasta dough is ready. Now, we can just let it rest here while we're going to prepare our mix. So, what I did previously, I had my nice fresh baby spinach, and I just steamed them for 15 minutes. So, as you can see, this is the final result, nice and steamed. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take some of the spinach and prepare our baby puree and then we will keep going for mommy and daddy. We are going to take one tablespoon of steamed spinach, a nice tablespoon of ricotta cheese, another nice tablespoon of parmesan cheese, another nice tablespoon of extra virgin oil of oil, the good one. And then, super duper easy, we just create our puree. See, it's nice and smooth mm, and yummy. <laughs> so if you want to have a more liquid uh, res final result, you can just add like two, three tablespoons of hot water, add one at a time. So you will see, you know, how, how much liquid you want. Or if you have it, you can also add two, three tablespoons of vegetable broth. Our spinach and ricotta baby puree is ready. And now we'll keep going with mommy and daddy's recipe. For mommy and daddy, I really want the same kind of creamy consistency that we did for our baby puree. So I'm going to use our nice mix and I'm going to put together the spinach, the ricotta cheese, I'm going to grate some nutmeg, I'm going to add just a pinch of salt, and of course, the Parmesan cheese. In addition to that, I'm going to add one or two tablespoons of good extra virgin olive oil. And now we are ready to mix everything. Ready. First of all, we're going to try it. Always try your food. <laughs> Mmm, good. And I really like also the very deep green color of the spinach. And that's due to the fact that we steam them. So the color stays with the steaming process. Now it's time to prepare our pasta roll. And we're going to use you know, a nice flat surface. As always, some flour. A nice pin roll. And we're going to roll our pasta. And we're going to create a nice 
rectangle of pasta and we want the pasta to be thin, very thin. Here we are. <laughs> Let's say, you know, five good minutes of, you know, rolling the pasta uh, and our result is done. So we really want our pasta to be as thin as possible. So as you can see, this is the final result. You know, it's very elastic, so it's easy to work and it is thin as I want it. So now I'm going to place my nice pasta on my surface. It's rectangular shape, so it's perfect to be transformed in a, in a nice roll. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my mix, my spinach and ricotta mix, and I'm going to place it on my pasta, on my fresh pasta. Mmm, <laughs> I'm already hungry. <laughs> and somebody in the background is hungry too. <laughs> I will try to put my mix in an even way on the surface and I will not stay too close to the borders otherwise it will go out during the cooking time <laughs> meanwhile as you could notice there is a nice big pan full of water that is almost boiling now what we do basically we roll our pasta gently And I'm using, <laughs> I'm using the mix as a kind of, you know, glue for the borders <laughs> and works. Ah, uh, okay. Now what do we do? The cooking way this time will be kind of different. I'm going to take a clean kitchen cloth and I'm going to place my pasta roll right in the center of it and I'm going to close my pasta roll nicely with a piece of cotton I'm going to close the final part because I do not want my pasta to get out of it I'm going to add two nice tablespoons of salt to my boiling water I'm going to place my nice pasta roll in the boiling water and I'm going to let it cook for half an hour starting from when the water is boiling uncovered half an hour starting from when it's boiling half an hour later our pasta our spinach pasta roll is ready I'm switching off the flames I'm taking it gently out from the hot water and now see Wow, <laughs> this is our final result. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, in a nice pan, as you see, I'm going to put my sage that I just chop in a small, small pieces with three, four tablespoon of oil. You can also use butter if you want, but you know, I prefer oil to butter. So I will just need the oil to warm up and the sage to release the flavor into the oil. Meanwhile, I'm going to slice my pasta roll and to serve it in nice dishes. And then I will put on top our oil with the sage and of course, a nice sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. Today's special recipe is done, is our fresh made pasta roll with spinach and ricotta cheese, plus a baby puree with spinach and ricotta for our little ones. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us. We are going to see each other next week with another recipe from Buona Papa. And as always, Buona Papa Tutti.